All right, hey everybody. Today we're gonna make the wheel. And uh, this is a good one. There's a couple of things that you should probably know that are kind of helpful to know. A lot of uh, common questions and misconceptions on this one. I'm gonna let you just build the uh, sketch on your own. It's pretty easy. Then we're just gonna extrude it right here. We're gonna extrude that outer ring and that inner ring right there uh, to a distance of point. 57 as it says in the packet now the key to the wheel is you have to do what's called a symmetric extrusion And you can see the difference right there between a symmetric and a single direction extrusion We're gonna do the symmetric extrusion. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Very good Let's start a new sketch right here 2d sketch on this surface right there. Perfect. Okay now there's this tool called project geometry which basically turns your solid uh, objects into sketch materials. So we're going to go ahead and project the geometry of this and this. And then we're, I believe, from this, since it's technically kind of part of a sketch, we're going to be able to extrude what we need to extrude. So we're going to extrude right here. Now, I'm not sure if we should choose this or both of these. I guess, in a way, does it really matter? Well, we definitely don't want that, so we're going to have to cancel that. In a way, does it really matter? Uh, you could kind of choose what you think is the best. I personally like just going with that one right there. Again, we're going to do a symmetric extrusion so it goes both in and out. And I believe this one's 0 0.05, but let me check the paper just to be 100% sure right there. Yeah, 0.05 for sure. Okay, good. There we go. We're going to finish the sketch right there. This is what it's going to look like. And uh, now I'm going to start a sketch right here on the face. Now I need what's called a closed loop in order to cut out the parts of the wheel. So let's see, might as well project the geometry again. And I'm going to do a circle right here of radius. What is the radius of the circle? Let me check on that again real quick. 0.25 is the radius. Now I don't know why they would give me the radius when everything uses diameter, but it is what it is. I guess because it's an arc. That's probably it. So anyways, we're going to make a circle right here. Let me zoom in just a bit on this part. We're going to make a circle right there uh, that has a radius of 0.5, uh, pardon me, a diameter of 0.5, a radius of 0.25. There we go. There it is. And now I'm going to use my trim tool to get rid of that part right there. Because I projected my geometry, now I think it will work. If not, you can go ahead and just throw an arc in right there. Oops, not a line, just an arc with a, just a single one click, two click, and uh, well, now I, I left clicked. I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Here we go. Click, click, click. Perfect. Okay. Finish that sketch, and we're going to just do a cut extrusion of that part only, if it will let me. There we go. Perfect. We're going to go that way, so we do a cut extrusion. Okay. And then we're going to just go ahead and do a circular pattern of this thing right here. Now, with the circular pattern, use the Features button to select what you want to pattern. And in this case, I want to pattern the whole. And then you use the Rotation Axis button to choose kind of any circle that you want it to rotate around. There's plenty of options to choose from. I'll go ahead and make that one. And there are five holes in this. Okay, there you go. There's the wheel. Have fun making that one. It's a good one.